Padre, Padre, Padre. I like the thought that you had to be uh, vibrating at a certain frequency to receive that frequency. Yeah, that was super cool. You can't receive an FM, FM frequency on an AM dial. So you have to be tuned in to be able to receive a certain signal, right? Super simple concept, right? But bang on. That was really cool, actually, Padre. That was super cool, right? That's why people say, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Are you tuned in to me? Maybe if that that's the switch that are you listening to me? Can you hear me too? Are you tuned into me? Are you are you vibing with me? Are we on the same frequency? Maybe the hippies had it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty good. Right? That's why maybe when people do as uh, DM Turner mentioned, when you do ecstasy with a small group of like minded people, close friends. It amplifies the feeling. Same goes with mushrooms, right? And if you're, especially mushrooms, if you're on a mushroom trip in an environment where you're not vibing with people, oh, wow, wow, that's nastiness, right? Evil to hope, I choo choo, salute evil to hope. Hope you're doing well, hope you're doing well. That was fun, that was fun. Those damn hippies were onto something. They were onto something, but they lost it. They lost it, right? There was a handful of them that remained true to the calling, but uh, there weren't that many to begin with, I don't think, right? Like people talk about the, from what I've read a little bit about this, people talk about the 60s, you know, everyone vibing, blah, blah, blah. But that was only in pockets. Majority of the United States and Canada was still not the hippie culture, right? They weren't really... Uh, they sold out bro they sold out they sold out again there wasn't that many of them right they were in pockets but if and one of the main pockets was san francisco but look at the shit coming out of san francisco right is that from the hippie culture or is that hijacked right i don't know evil tool i tripped on shrooms with people who weren't having a good vibe it went from one of the best to the worst experiences real fast. Yeah, that's what mushrooms does. On a flip of a dime, or was it a flip of a dime, or whatever it is, it all it can turn on you so fast. Same with LSD, turn on you so fast. All you need is one person to put out that bad energy, and the shit is the fan. I would do it again. I would do it again. What about Woodstock? Woodstock was, the, there were people that died in Woodstock, right? The Hells Angels with the bodyguards. They, there, were some, there were some people that died at Woodstock. You know, there was lots of lovely dubby things happening, but there was some nasty stuff going on too. Weren't there a lot of people there? Yeah, but that's, you're talking all of the United States. Take it all to one music festival. And the hardcores would have been migrating to that, right? How big was Woodstock relative to the entire United States? Not that everybody went there, but there was a lot of people there, right? Look at Woodstock 99. Clearest case of selling out I've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't. That was like vomit inducing, right? That was the wacko. And look at the look at the people, some of those musicians. They were, look at, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Neil Young. What a clown. Man, I used to like Neil Young. What a clown. What a clown. 